Hello friends. In today's lecture, we will study nucleic acids. We know that all living organisms they carry nucleic acid. It is present in its nucleus or in its cytoplasm. The living organism may be a plant, animal, or any microbe. Without nucleic acid, it cannot complete its life cycle. The nucleic acid was firstly identified by Frederick Michel in 1869. He studied the nucleus of the pus cells and he identified a content which is phosphorus rich and he named it as nuclein. Later on, with the progress of the study, and with the progress of understanding, it came known that this molecule, the nuclein, it consists of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and phosphorus. Altman named the same compound which is acidic in nature and which was identified from nucleus as nucleic acid. So the term nucleic acid, it is used by Altman. Structurally, nucleic acids are polymers and these polymers are made up of many monomers that is the building blocks which are linked with each other. Therefore, nucleic acids are poly Mers and they are made up of nucleotides. So nucleotides are the monomers. And as these are the polymers of nucleotide, they are also named as polynucleotides. Later on, it was identified that the nucleic acids they cannot survive alone. So usually, they form association with the proteins and they form a composition which is called as a nucleoprotein. Now for simplicity, in this lecture we are not going to deal with these proteins, rather we will concentrate only on the nucleic acids. Now what is a nucleotide? What is the structure of the building block nucleotide? Nucleotide it consists of three parts. So we can say that nucleotides are made up of three molecules namely nitrogen base, sugar, and phosphorus molecule. So nucleotides consist of nitrogen base, sugar and phosphate. Nitrogen plus sugar molecule is called as nucleoside and nucleoside plus phosphorus becomes nucleotide. And in the polymers, these nucleotides, they are connected with each other. So nucleotide will link with nucleotide and next nucleotide and so on. So this chain of many nucleotides, it is called as nucleic acid. Now, we will try to understand which are the nitrogen bases, which are different sugars, those are present in the nucleic acid and what is the structure of this phosphorus. There are basically two types of nitrogen bases. Purines and pyrimidines. Nucleic 
न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स शोज ओनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्यूरिंग स्पेसिफिकली एडेनिन एंड ग्वाइनिन सो इन ऑल काइंड ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स वी विल गेट ओनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्यूरिन एडेनिन एंड ग्वाइनिन देर आर वेर एज देर आर थ्री प्यूरिमेरिन namely cytosine thiamine and uracil so in all there are five nitrogen bases a g purines c e u pyrimidines the purines are double ringed structures so they will have a six membered benzene ring plus a five membered imidazole ring so this is the basic structure of purines they will have double ringed structure here as pyrimidines they have a single ringed structure and this structure is the modification of six membered benzene ring there are two types of sugars both the sugars are pentose sugars that means they will have five carbon molecules in their structure the basic structure consists of a five membered ring having four carbon and one oxygen carbon number 1 h o h carbon number 2 h o h carbon number 3 h o h carbon number 4 h and the fifth one is ch2 o h so this is the pentose sugar having five carbons carbon 1 2 3 4 and 5 and this structure is called as ribose sugar another type of sugar it is deoxyribose sugar and in a deoxyribose sugar we have a five membered ring just like as a ribose sugar with oh and carbon number 1 carbon number 3 four and the fifth one is ch2 oh so here one oxygen is less at carbon number 2 in ribose sugar carbon number 2 is connected with h oh whereas in a deoxyribose sugar the oxygen is removed and that is why it is called as a deoxy ribose sugar so we have two types of sugars in nucleic acids ribose sugar and deoxy ribose sugar and third element is a phosphorus phosphorus the phosphorus molecule it is involved as a phosphoric acid so the formula of phosphoric acid is h3po4 structurally it carries a phosphorus element at the center and it is connected with three oh molecules on three side and one oxygen with a double bond on one side so this is the structure of phosphorus these are three molecules together that is a nitrogen base either of purine pyrimidine linked with pentose sugar either ribose or deoxy ribose and phosphorus molecule so these three elements together they forms a monomer of nucleic acid and that is nucleotide the nucleic acids are divided in two types deoxy ribose nucleic acid that is dna and ribose nucleic acid that is rna now this classification is based on the type of pentose sugar so classification is based on the type of sugar which is present in that nucleic acid if the sugar is deoxyribose sugar then that nucleic acid 
is called as a deoxyribose nucleic acid dna if the sugar is ribose sugar then it will be called as ribose nucleic acid so the first difference is in sugar type so in deoxyribose nucleic acid dna which sugar will be present it will be deoxy ribose sugar whereas in case of rna the sugar will be ribose sugar now the second difference it lies in the types of nitrogen bases dna consists of adenine guanine cytosine and thymine whereas rna consists of adenine guanine cytosine and uracil so here instead of thymine uracil is present in rna the purines are same so both these type of nucleic acids they have same purines that is adenine and guanine whereas there is a change in one pyrimidine instead of thymine which is present in dna instead of thymine uracil will be present in rna the next difference is in its structure structurally dna is always a double stranded structure it is double stranded two strands of polynucleotides they will pair with each other with complementary nitrogen base pair and they will produce a double stranded structure here the pairing involves pairing of purine adenine with a pyrimidine thymine and pairing of guanine with cytosine so adenine will always pair with thymine and guanine will always pair with cytosine this type of pairing is called as a complementary complementary base pairing in case of rna usually the rna molecules are single stranded no doubt they can form a double stranded structure when they fold upon itself and when there is possibility of complementary pairing if the complementary bases they came in front of each other say for example adenine comes in front of uracil and guanine it gets complementary pair that is the cytosine then and then only it can produce double strand but the double strand will be a partial structure in case of rna whereas in case of dna it is usually present in double stranded structure only and finally the difference in role dna it is the basic inheritance material so this is a carrier of genetic information so dna is a carrier of genetic information it is a inheritory molecule in all kind of plants animals and bacteria as well as dna is a genetic material in number of viruses also rna basically it is involved in protein synthesis so rna is involved in protein synthesis therefore usually it is present in cytoplasm the genetic carrier it will be present in nucleus dna will be present in nucleus whereas rna will be present in cytoplasm only due to its role in protein synthesis but there are few exceptions there are certain viruses 
which carries RNA as a genetic material. And such viruses are called as RNA virus. For example, HIV which causes AIDS and H1N1 that is the swine flu virus. So in this way, few viruses they carry RNA as a genetic material. Now with exception of these RNA viruses, all other living organisms they will have DNA as a genetic material and RNA as a protein synthesizing machinery. So this is a brief account of nucleic acids. Just we will have a revision. Nucleic acids are polynucleotides. Nucleotides are the building blocks of nucleic acid. Each nucleotide consists of nitrogen bases which are of five types A, G, C, T and U. Second component of nucleotide is sugar. Sugar may be ribose sugar, a pentose sugar or deoxyribose sugar. Both are pentose sugars. And phosphate which is present in form of H3PO4. Together they form a unit called as a nucleotide. The nucleotides are connected with each other to form a polymer chain and finally this polymer chain is nothing but nucleic acid. On the basis of sugar type, we have two types of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. So this is all for today's lecture. In the next lecture, we will see the structure of DNA. Till then, take care, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.